Okay, so I'm down at the coop. It's the first time my husband has allowed me to take the camera on my own. <laughs> so, I tend to do things that aggravate him that he'll see later when he's editing. <laughs> so, let's see what kind of trouble I can get myself into. down at the coop right now and I'm going to I don't think that we've really gone over the coop before um, we built it almost two years ago in March uh, Tobin had some scrap wood that he picked up and then we also bought some stuff at Home Depot and he kind of had a vision of what he wanted and me him and the kids spent a couple weekends in our driveway building this coop um, we had chickens years ago but our, um, we had to move and also our chocolate lab killed them. So we kind of went on a six, seven year um, hiatus from chickens and then about two years ago decided we wanted some more. So we built our coop and it's been out here for two years. And then like we showed y'all last weekend, we got new chickens. So I had to clean the coop out. The kids usually do it, but you know, Women, you know, sometimes those kids do not do it the way that you want them to. <sighs> but you gotta let them because it teaches them responsibility and all the other stuff. So I'm gonna be out here and I'm gonna clean it my way. I'm gonna really get it clean, especially with adding the new chicken. So y'all come on along. Some of my other chores I need to do is I need to fill the feeders. So Tobin made these feeders for me so we can fill them up and last a little bit longer and they're not as wasteful with the feed um, I think he's got a YouTube video on that if you're interested in it but here's our coop that's the big part of the coop that's what houses all the chickens and then we've got our watering system Tobin also built that I think there is a link for that on YouTube as well let's go underneath and look at our new girls it's the husband man. Hi. Brought your water. Thanks, babe. These are our new girls. So we built this area underneath there without the intentions of it ever housing anything, but we got some ducks. We don't have ducks anymore. That was a bad choice. But the ducks tended to hang out underneath there, so my daughter kind of went back through and then closed it in and then we got rid of the chickens I mean the ducks and now we have the four chickens so I thought it'd be a perfect place for them to hang out and keep safe until we introduce them to the flock so I'm gonna try to close this up tonight though they need to start going up in the coop those are our four girls hi girls and then that's our rooster telling them that something's in their coop so this is the back of the well the side of the coop I guess and these are our nesting boxes and we did this to easier access to the eggs obviously we need to get the eggs out for the day they're so pretty but I will tell you this there is something so fun about opening that in the summertime and there being a snake right there. Y'all, I don't do snakes. I don't do them. Mm -mm. I don't do them. So, luckily my husband and my boys helped me and came and killed them. But, yeah, open that up. It's like it's like the jack-in-the-box. You know when you like open the jack-in-the-box and something like pops out at you? I mean, it's like that. that's exactly what I felt like. I mean, and that didn't really happen that way, but it felt like it. So, uh, I guess back in the summer, Tobin made me... See if I can get it. I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but there's a latch right there. And he made it so we could swing the back of the coop open to make it easier to clean. Because before, me and my daughter were fitting through that little hole trying to scoop all the poop out. So he took his handy dandy saw and he sawed it down put on some hinges and now the gate opens and now you just get I get like a shovel or a hoe and I just kind of clean it out so yep. 
that's what I'm doing. So I think that's it for the tour of the chicken coop. Um, it's one of my favorite places. All right guys, that's it. That's our coop. It's pretty small. Um, it's not anything gigantic. Over time, eventually I would like to have a walk-in coop. I see all those other coops and you know, you get the like the googly eyes and you get all excited about it. And I think one day we'll have it, but for right now it keeps them safe. Um, we have not had anything compromised this coop. Um, we did have another one that we ended up tearing down and every time we put something in there, something got in it. But this coop is reinforced. Everything's good. We're gonna have the new girls go up in the big coop tonight. They were in the bottom like I showed you earlier, but we're gonna have them start going up in the big coop just because it's time. It's been a week and they've been in our um, big area of our chickens for the last week and they seem to be fine. Um, I posted on Instagram uh, that our rooster, day one, he tried to uh, attack them. They chased him and he jumped the fence. So he stayed in the big yard the rest of the time. I mean, yeah, he has 11 or 10 girls against him. So yeah, my husband said he understood. So he stayed away from them and all the girls stayed back here. But the introduction has been pretty easy. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna fill the feeders, make sure they got water, clean the coop, and, and then I'll be doing something else around here, I'm sure. There's the husband man over there. Uh-oh. I don't know what I did. Anyways, there he is doing his taxidermy stuff. I'm trying to finish up for the year. Fall was very good to us during hunting season, so. But we still. Oh, hello, everyone. <laughs> That's going to be great when he edits that. Um, fall was very good to us as far as taxidermy goes. We did over 200 euro mounts. Whitetail, moose, elk, red deer. We did all kinds of stuff this year. But we had a few stragglers that came in at in late season that we've got to finish up. So taking advantage of this pretty weather and he's over there doing that while I'm doing the coop. Anyways, I wanted to show y'all. We finished, the, I finished the coop. Not we, I finished the coop. And it's all clean now. I mean, it's not like food grade clean, but it's clean enough for them. They'll be happy tonight. All right, guys, I'm going back over, see what Tobin has going on, see if he needs any help, but that's it. That's what I did. The coops are clean, the ladies will be happy. They'll keep giving us our eggs and we'll keep Keep on keeping on.